what is up brothers yo so there hasn't been any crazy news really in the wild community in the last couple days or like week and a half um so i haven't really been super motivated to upload anything but i just kind of want to go over some of the recent changes and updates to the game as well as the main game or like season discovery retail and the war within essentially um we'll kind of jump into it here one of the first things we'll go in with uh, season of discovery so they're going to be changing the discoverer's delight buff again um they said they were going to change this whole like a couple of weeks ago actually um but it looks like they're increasing it to 150 for all players there and then once they're actually increasing it to 100 for 40 to 49 which is actually pretty insane so perfect time to level up the rest of your characters if you want to get them up all the way to level 50 and yeah get every single every single one just go run actually if you go do the nightmare incursions from 40 to 49 that'll probably take probably take half the time only like two hours now that's insane people are gonna go crazy <laughs> Um, next thing I want to kind of jump into, there's been a lot of people having a lot of issues with the LFG, especially when trying to find, uh, mythic groups. Apparently you can turn on your mature language filter and that'll fix your issue. So for anybody experiencing that, um, try and give that a shot. I haven't run any mythics yet in retail. I've just been kind of goofing off doing a bunch of different quests. Um, another really cool thing, kind of jumping in, looking at the different, um, DPS rankings there for season four, week two. Now that we're uh, in the, are we in? Are we in Abers? No, we're in Amerdrasville, aren't we? Uh, this is week two. We're in week three now, right? Yeah. I was like, I'm super confused. But yeah, looking at the DPS rankings, anyways, a lot of these are, you can see, most of our class is really balanced, which is crazy. Um, Got Devastation Evokers at the top, <laughs> Augmentation Evokers at the bottom. I mean, that makes sense. The augmentation Evokers are kind of like the bard of retail, essentially. That's how that's how I view them anyways. Um, <laughs> it's crazy. There's only 490 Affliction Warlocks. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> so nobody's playing Warlock. Everybody's playing Destruction Warlock, though. They're loving that class. Um, looks like the most popular one is actually Havoc Demon Hunters. That's crazy. Those are the most popular. Oh, and Beastmaster Hunters and Retribution Paladins. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Rhett, Rhett's the top. Rhett's killing it. Everybody loves Rhett. I don't know why everybody loves Rhett now. Rhett is pretty good, though. I main Rhett. Yeah, I've been maining Rhett for like... A long time now <laughs> but it looks like everybody's pretty close survival hunter yeah nobody likes that i don't know why we want melee hunter no nobody wants that no i'm just playing i don't personally want if you want to be melee go, there's plenty of melee classes plenty plenty Let's jump into the Void Touched weapon. So if you do the new quest line that they just released uh, yesterday, I believe it is, um, there's a bunch of new weapons you can get. So you can actually get, um, what's her name, Aurelia's, Aurelia's bow, which is pretty sweet. Um, but there's a bunch of other Void Touch weapons that you can get as well. You can even get some Void Touch skins for your dragon mounts too. Um, and then kind of jumping into the War Within, one of the main characters here um, actually has a prosthetic and it's a whole shield, which is super cool. Um, apparently you get to go into like the lore of this or even help her build it, maybe. She ain't got it right there. But I thought that was super cool that she's got a, she got a whole shield for an arm. Prosthetic. Pretty sweet. Um, another really cool thing in the War Within, some people might love, some people might hate, um, but it looks like we're going to be getting um, some special bags with special um, effects on them. So like back in, I mean, of course, in Classic, you could get um, a quiver there if you're a um, hunter, increase your attack speed. So it looks like we're going to be getting some extra move speed. So I wonder if we're going to be getting anything else along with that. <clears throat> 
But a nice little uh, movement speed boost there, especially if you're pallet and you'll be going quick, quick, really fast. <laughs> I love how paladins are so OP. You got get a run really fast. You get attack from afar, <laughs> and you get an extra amount just to chase people down too at the same time. There's no getting away from a paladin. But yeah, those are kind of the main things that kind of struck my uh, struck my brain, I guess. These last couple of days, nothing too crazy going on in the wild community right now. Um, a lot of people are coming back into the game. Um, I think they were thinking Dark Heart was going to be like the pre-patch to the War Within, but that's probably not going to happen for a long time. And, oh yeah, other people were wondering when the Mist of Pandaria remix is going to be going on. Um, that'll be next week there. So get prepared, get everything you need to get done in retail, and in Season of Discovery. Oh, and I think Cataclysm um, launched here recently too, so I think we're going to start waiting for that. Um, I probably won't be playing Cataclysm. I did, I did like playing it a lot during when it was retail. There, current. Um, my guildies were actually asking, like, what's like, what are some of the cool classes to play in Cataclysm? Me personally, um, I played a Blood Death Knight. They're stupid overpowered, um, especially in the very first, um, in the very first raid there um blood decays were able to build up it was like a blood barrier so like if each time you death strike you get a bigger blood barrier you keep building up and building up and you eventually have like 200k extra health just in blood barrier so you have like you're walking around with like 500k hp um <laughs> and you could just tank hits all day and while you're dodging and parrying hits at the same time um you just continue building up that blood barrier and you're basically unstoppable um for a lot of fights where <laughs> my healers would forget to heal about me because they're like oh i just don't have to heal this guy um and then i might take a big hit and but i'd still be you got so many defensive cooldowns as a blood dk there that you'd be golden um but yeah even even as a solo blood dk you can go solo tons of different bosses there so if you're into that kind of stuff blood dk is definitely the way to go in cataclysm if that's something you want to do um i know there's a i think there's a caster yeah there's a caster um staff that you get out of firelands and then there's the legendary daggers for rogues that you get out of dragon soul um rogues were pretty pretty bad during dragon soul but i mean you do get legendary daggers and then you're good after that <laughs> but um i think boomies mages yeah boomies and mages are a pretty good go-to for that staff there i think it i don't know if it was good for healers too uh, but probably be a bunch of people fighting over that staff pretty powerful um staff there in the game that you can get um but yeah other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Um, if you have any, any comments, leave them down in the description. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. We'll see ya.